anywhere between a hundred to two hundred dollars a day um, uh, was in heroin and in meth and coke and all that shit. I was you know doing everything. <laughs> I got injured riding bikes and uh, started going to pain management and uh, the doctor was prescribing me uh, Oxycontins and from there I kind of slowed down riding quite a bit and pills started becoming more important to me than anything else. I think the, the, the last year I was sponsored by Monster, I didn't touch my bike once. I was still under contract, getting paid and using that money to get high. It happened, it happened so fast, all, all of a sudden I was on straight heroin and uh, didn't even realize I was just waking up every day uh, trying not to be sick from withdrawing from heroin. And I wasn't even getting high, I was going out and stealing and to support my habit. I was in college, like got my degree in college with a fucking needle in my arm in the bathroom in the middle of class, you know, like going back to class and I still passed college. So <laughs> it was like once college was done, BMX was basically done and I was just burnt out from doing all this shit at once and just drugs was the easiest thing not to quit. Anywhere between 100 to $200 a day um, uh, was in heroin and in meth and coke and all that shit. I was, you know, doing everything. But uh, it was about 100 to $200 a day, which I would have to either go out and steal a bunch of shit or just, you know, I had a, a girlfriend that had, had a lot of money and she would buy shit and it, it was a very fucking expensive thing. <laughs> you know, the last time I went to jail, um, uh, something clicked in my head and I was just done so burnt out with with drugs and that lifestyle and uh, I was lucky lucky enough to get a drug court and have to like piss in a cup for a year and like stay accountable with that and I'm still on probation right now and it's been two years almost and uh, I don't know it's uh, get, getting back on a BMX bike has been one of the the major things keeping me sober and like getting back falling back in with all my old friends that I used to ride with who aren't on drugs it plays a major role May 25th, 2016 was the last last time I used heroin. Got high, went out and stole something from Walmart, I think, and ended up in jail. And from there, nothing since. Any day on heroin is, I mean, you feel that high, but it's so, it's so artificial. Uh, you can't compare it to like landing a trick on a bike or like having like real love in your life and like having people love you back and not, you know, the whole time you're high, nobody trusts you. You get used to this world of like people ripping you off and you ripping them off and just a cycle of like just zero trust and no one from your past trusting you. You're just a piece of shit at that point. I've learned a whole lot from from this experience and honestly I wish I wish I didn't have to go through it. I wish I could have taken someone's someone's word for it, but obviously I had to find out for myself. But I think if if you're stuck in this situation that, that I was stuck in, just fucking do your best to get out of it. Like there's there's no end game 
for you in that situation. You're, you're dead or in prison. Your life's fucked. Like, it's it's taken a while for me to get, you know, the trust back from some from certain people. Um, my family brought me back in, in open arms, obviously, and we're very supportive. And But it still took a while f for them to completely trust that I was clean and probably took took me being in in drug court and peeing in a cup every other day and to prove, you know, I'm not, obviously not doing drugs. So it's a, uh, it's real easy to lie and, and say you're not doing something and be doing it, you know. I'm extremely happy. I'm, I've got like a real good, a uh, real good girlfriend with a, with a baby, which I'm helping raise, and that that fills my life, pretty pretty solid. I got like my friends from BMX that we we go riding like every weekend together, and that that's something to look forward to. Uh, I normally have a job, which I'm working, you know, Monday through Friday, you know, eight hours a day. Uh, and that that's just fills up my time, but I'm not unhappy about it. It's it's uh it's nice to to not have to worry about too much, you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's better than heroin. <laughs>